He's the one who got away. Jill Tetro just wanted to meet a woman. Instead, the Edmonton man hooked up with a maniac in a hockey mask who was armed with an 800,000 volt stun gun. Tetro was given odd directions to a Millwoods garage from whom he thought was an attractive blonde woman named Sheena he had met on an internet dating site. Once inside, he said he felt a tap on his arm and then was put in a bear hug and prodded with what he later learned was a stun gun. All of a sudden, I saw this man with a hockey mask on he told the jury, before adding he then realized this was no date and he was about to get mugged. He said he grabbed the stun gun and moved it to the side and tried to run for the man door. However, his attacker cut him off and then pulled a gun on him. Tetro told the jurors he didn't know if the gun was real or not, so he followed the yelled instructions to get on the ground with his head down and his hands behind his back. Court heard the attacker then used duct tape to cover Tetro's eyes. Tetro testified he heard a jingling noise coming from his attacker's pants and became scared that the man might rape him. At that point, he decided he had better fight back. I figured I would rather die my way than his way, said Tetro. He said he ripped the tape off of his eyes and turned to his attacker, who then pulled out the gun again. Tetro told the jury he grabbed the weapon and realized it was plastic. The two men then began wrestling. After failing to kick the man in the groin, Tetro maneuvered around to get closer to the door. He finally made it outside, but then realized he was unable to run and fell down. His attacker then came out and began dragging him back inside the garage. He told the jury he thought he was dead at that point, but when his attacker let go of his legs briefly, he got up and then ran for his life. Tetro told jurors he saw a couple walking a dog and asked for help but said they seemed stunned and ended up walking away after the man with the mask came out and pretended like they were buddies. When the attacker retreated towards the garage, Tetro said he was able to get into his truck and drive away. He eventually made it home, exhausted and hurting, and went to sleep. Tetro testified he did not report the attack to police until a friend later told him about other things that happened at the garage and that police were looking for him. The trial continues Monday. For the Edmonton Sun, I'm Tony Blay.